This is Atco and the little girl. I'm going to start this little video with an introduction. And then I want to uh, go through uh, some of the cassettes finds that I've gotten in the last day or two at uh, some yard sales. But I want to let you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that collect music and, and players. Uh, we've all enjoyed music over our lives. And uh, for a hundred years, people have had different players, different media, different music. Uh, starting back, you know, in the early 1900s, people bought cylinders and uh, listened to the music of that and their players. Then in the 20s, uh, the 78s became uh, the standard. Back in the 50s, uh, the 45s and uh, uh, LPs uh, replaced the 78s. And then even in the 60s, uh, tape became very popular because of uh, uh, portability. So all those different areas had different players, different music. Um, it's great. We've enjoyed it and it's all part of history. Uh, it's been a, a lot of people collect this stuff and, um, and it's a great hobby. But uh, some of the stuff can get uh, start getting expensive, and the reason it's getting expensive is because it's starting to get more scarce uh, available. Uh, a lot of people are uh, collecting vinyl, and uh, you know people love the vinyl because that's the age that you know people are still enjoying, and in the '60s, the '70s, and the '80s, and. Uh, if you've got the equipment, that's uh, it's a great way, uh, and it's not that expensive to, to buy the records and play. But if you're a, a, a newer collector, uh, vinyl, uh, the prices are starting to go up, and if you don't have a player, if you don't have a record player, a good one, and um, any uh, you know all the equipment that you need along with it. Uh, it's starting to get hard to find that stuff, and especially stuff that's working. But there is a real bargain out now, right now, and it's cassettes. Cassettes were popular from the, the late 60s up through 1990s. And it's now uh, considering obsolete, because CDs have come out, and... Uh, you know, they aren't making any more cassettes. But I'll tell you what, there was some beautiful music uh, in those decades. And all those artists from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. And that cassette now, um, there's plenty of that out there. You go to any thrift store, you go to any yard sale, and there's plenty of cassettes most of them going 25 cents, 50 cents a piece. And you can't go wrong. The players, the portability of cassettes is, is great. The equipment is still easy to get a hold of and the prices are cheap because people are considering it obsolete. Won't take long, just like all the other medias went through the same thing. After a while, um, it starts getting scarce and collectors pick that stuff up. Now it's not just the equipment that you want that stuff for. You want that stuff for the music. The music, you buy your new CDs, now you might be able to find some of the older music, but it's, it, you can't find all those titles and those different artists and, and the albums that actually came out in those years. You can still get that on cassette. Cassettes sound good. You can get the players, and uh, this is your chance to pick these things up cheap. Prices can only go up. So uh, I did some yard selling uh, this weekend, and uh, I picked up uh, quite a few cassettes. Uh, I'm going to show you what I picked up. These I can add to my collection of cassettes. Now this one, Pearl, 
This was the the first album of uh, Janis Joplin, and probably maybe one of the best ones they did. Uh, but I got that. The best of Who's Who's greatest hits. Now I'll tell you something. If you're a collector, a new starting collector, you can't go wrong going with these cassettes that you find that are the best of groups because they can be around for quite a while and of course any album you have there's there's songs on there you really like and there's songs that you don't but those songs that were very very popular and they've been around for a while they were able to make a the best of album man grab those when you can because then you really get to see what the best of some of those uh, artists were in those those years. Uh, this one, Elton, Elton John's Greatest Hits. Uh, <laughs> Elton John has done so many uh, songs that uh, he's got like version one, uh, volume one, volume two, volume three because he's had so many. But I think this was one of the first ones and, and uh, oh, they're all great. They, you can't go wrong. And uh, Procol Harum, the best of. He was in the 60s for the most, and uh, but there were some really great songs. Uh, the uh, uh, let's see, what's the one that uh, a whiter shade of pale? I'll tell you if you've never heard that one. It's back in like 1966, but what a what a great song that is. You want down, little girl? Okay, I also got uh, the best of Aerosmith. Of course, that's another one that volume one, volume two, probably volume three. But uh, this was the first one and uh, really great songs. In the 60s, there was a, uh, a group uh, of two guys doing uh, Sam and Dave. Uh, I, it was uh, from uh, Stax Records. Uh, a uh, soul music, but I'll tell you what, that, man, I loved all the songs from uh, Sam and Dave. And uh, Bob Dylan's uh, Greatest Hits. Again, probably Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, but uh, uh, you know, you want to get a feeling of what the 60s really felt like, listen to Bob Dylan music, because it was uh, a different era. Uh, this one was just a kind of a collection of uh, classic songs from the, the 60s but it had a lot of good stuff in there it had uh, this had uh, the birds uh, blood sweat and tears There's some really good songs from the 60s these are good to head to that have a collection of top hits uh, Jay Giles bands the best of. Great, great. Now this one, most of all the songs, the, the cassettes I bought over the weekend were either 25 cents or 50 cents. And generally that's all I'll pay for a cassette. But this is one I've been looking for <laughs> for quite a while. Uh, this is uh, from uh, Paul McCartan and the Wings. And uh, I think this was his first album once he uh, uh, broke up from the, the Beatles. But this one was, uh, the, the name of the album is called uh, Red Rose Speedway. And I'll tell you what, uh, this, this song, this whole album is just great. You ever get one of those albums, it's not a best of, it was just an album that came out and every track you, you just love. You just play the whole thing, there's nothing you don't like in that album. Well this was one. And uh, I, I just, back in the 70s, I, I played this so much at the time. And of course I had lost this somewhere along either cassette or, or uh, uh, the vinyl. And I've been wanting that back again. And I haven't found it until yesterday, as a matter of fact. And the guy wanted a buck for his cassettes. And normally I wouldn't go that much for a cassette. But I wanted this so bad that, that I bought it 
and and actually a buck for this music I mean you can't go wrong uh, it's still quite a, a bargain and I finally got this and I played this probably three times yesterday it just felt good and having all that music back again Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon. I'll tell you what, this was probably like around 70, 71. Uh, fantastic album. Uh, if you're one of the younger guys, grab this one if you can. This will really, they had some great music back in the early 70s. And uh, this particular album, uh, The Dark Side of the Moon, grab that one. Or anything from Pink Floyd. But this, I think, was the best one they ever had. And this was a find. I was really happy to get this. Led Zeppelin, the original one, and then Led Zeppelin 2, <laughs> and then Led Zeppelin 3. Um, the, the girl, she was probably in her late 40s, maybe 50s. And I saw those, and I got them. I think they were 50 cents a piece. She almost cried uh, selling them because apparently she played a lot of music with uh, Led Zeppelin. And they put out, I think, five, maybe six albums before they started uh, breaking up. Uh, but uh, these three, uh, they just fantastic. You can grab anything from Led Zeppelin, uh, your collection. You can't go wrong. And when you think about all of these, when I put five bucks into all of them together for all that great music, uh, again, this is the time to pick up these cassettes. They can only go up in price. And you're going to have a great collection uh, without putting a whole lot of money into it. And as far as the equipment goes, you know, the nice thing that made cassettes so popular was uh, the portability. I saw this player for $2 at a yard sale, a Sony machine. I asked him, does it work? He says, yeah, it works, but we'd had it in the garage and, you know, we don't need it anymore. It was filthy. You know, because it was in a garage, it was filthy. But it was in a garage and I was able to plug it in and uh, the sound, the, the radio sounded good. The uh, cassette worked fine. Uh, something you're going to find a lot with all these is uh, they break the uh, uh, antennas. But this antenna is in great shape. Um, the only thing it was was dirty. So, two bucks, I picked it up. I cleaned it. I'll tell you what, it's like brand new. And when you're buying any of these, since they're so available right now, just buy the good brands. Get the Sonys, get the Panasonics, get the uh, Technics, get the good ones because you're only going to pay a couple more bucks than you would by getting a, a cheap one. And uh, grab these while you can. Uh, I'll play something this just for a second. That's uh, Bob Dylan. I mean, you can't go wrong. So, uh, you want to come up, little girl? Come on. Come on. Come on up. So, these are my finds from this weekend. And, uh, I mean, all together, what do I got? $7 involved with all this? So, for you guys that, that are starting your collections, and you want to get some of that great music that came out in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. Grab these cassettes while you can. You'll get this stuff cheap. Good equipment. Good music. It's just so available right now. But it's not going to last forever. Grab them while you can. Ten years from now, 
you're going to have quite a collection that you'd pay a lot more for this stuff than you could now. Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, my video today. Uh, so, this is Atco and the little girl signing off.